basically, and and I'll come back, but I just wanted to show you, um, you know, we're out 86 feet. Um, right now. Yeah, and I say, I always say you're lucky. I'm not, this is not luck, but you are the mains on this side of the road. That's better. If you had to go clear across the road, yeah, you'd be spending some, you know, a lot, I see. Lot, a lot of moolah. So we're going to be coming back. So this is what a sewer line should look like. See how a little bit of water goes through there? Yeah, yeah. It'll just always be flowing. It's just got grade that'll go. You know, obviously when you take a shower or flush the toilet, you know, a big gush of water goes. Uh-huh. And then it, you know, drains into the city main. So here's the city main. So there's the pipe out in the road. Okay. So that's where everybody's line dumps into Meats. along this road. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. See, so you can see it going. Yep. So, so we'll just kind of pull back here. Um, just kind of take a look at it. Clay pipe um, out in the road. And I can't remember what the footage was that it drops off. I think it's going to be... And maybe we'll be able to see it as I come back. But that's, you know, this all looks good right there. There's some. But that's roots mm -hmm. going along your line. And that might have been what I was hitting on is roots. So okay. see how they're going along the side? Yeah, they're just sucked so in. Something's right, he right there. See how it oh, fell off? Yeah. So the pipe is totally separated. Yeah. And you're underwater so okay oh yeah that's why your water won't go it builds up it backs up into here yeah and it just sits stagnant that makes sense mm -hmm. so so that's all water oh yeah yep so it's a pretty good sag in the line yep See what I mean? It's so that's about like five, six feet of it's totally. Uh, well, I mean, it's still, yeah, there's probably right now you're probably at about 10 feet of you know, so of that lot, yeah, okay. So there's see that root hanging yeah. out. I mean, that's yeah. obviously it's that's not you know, causing see somebody flush the toilet, so see how it's uh huh. You know, you'll get water going, and then it will obviously die down because it goes to, it's just gravity, you know. That part where it's, that's, yeah. yeah. So you got roots right there. Root, mm -hmm. that looks like a mouse hanging up. Oh my no, gosh, but, okay. But see how you get those things, all that blocks your line. Now right here, we're changing to a different pipe. It looks like this is called Orangeburg pipe, mm -hmm. which is just a, a tar paper pipe that's no good. Literally, it's junk. Mm -hmm. So you'll see as we come back. That's what we're you're in right now? Yep. Is that pipe. The roots kind of push up, knuckle up into it, and you'll see some, see how it's not, like the water's got to go to the side? Yeah, yeah. The water should be right in the bottom of the trough. Right. So they knuckle up, see how... And it causes ups and downs. Yeah. So you've got... I should just get real close on that. And that's why I want him to, you know, basically, you know... Yeah. See this for himself. I mean, you yeah. know, it's hard to... But yeah. you should never have any standing water. This is another... See how it goes away. So you've got a dip okay. in the line. See how they're... It's really lift it up right there mm -hmm. so the roots are trying to they haven't punctured it but they're you know it's like mm -hmm. when your baby was pushing when you're pregnant you know pushing out <laughs> on your stomach yeah you know, that yeah type of thing yeah it's so yeah but again that's a lot of standing water yeah though. and that's what it you got another one that it won't go so interesting this is what causes all your backup So 
that's like it just sagged down yep. like this. It's all bad. Yep. But everything hangs there, builds up. You know, see how it's all narrowed down to those actually look like roots coming in the side, you know, like mm -hmm. going along there. That doesn't even look like a bite. No, it really doesn't. Unfortunately. <laughs> Still doesn't know. What so is that? I think right here, well, maybe a little more. I want to say. See how it's all built up on the sides? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's gnarly. Then as we come back in, so the red is the cast iron pipe. So now we're coming underneath your house. Okay. So we'll take a look at that. And it looks like it's in fairly good shape, to be quite honest. Okay. It's not trenched out super bad. Um, it's got a lot of buildup, mm -hmm. you know, just, but that's typical, obviously. So we'll, we'll be coming along here. Mm -hmm. It's just got a little bit of, had like a little bit of a drop right there, it looks like. And that, you know what I'm saying? See how it drops down? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's because we're going to the two inch. Oh. So now we're coming back across with the two inch, the kitchen line. Okay. So the two inch, basically, you've got a four inch and then the two inches up, so it's a little higher and that's why it looked like it was you know dropping off. see how it drops off a little yeah it does, which yeah. is you okay. know typical but this is the two inch this is your kitchen line you know my camera is only that big and it's yeah pretty much it's just it's just in there. full of buildup you know mm -hmm. so and then we'll come where it comes to the this drain right here, you'll see, I think, a little more. See how it just narrows down? Oh, yeah. And it's just full of gunk. Grossness. Yeah. Right. I want to say right oh. there. So yeah. right there is the sink, li this line coming down. Mm -hmm. So when you turn right. on the water upstairs, it comes that way. Okay. Does that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and your your uh, so your floor drain is really just this one. So when he goes out, he could hit something, you know, hitting against that, and then it turns mm -hmm. and goes out. Okay. But he's just really beaten. Just uh, <laughs> the pipe, you know. Oh yeah. So your issue is out in the yard, out in the street, that's causing you to get all this back up to come back into your house. And when it dams up, you know, the heavies, I say, and I'm not accusing, <laughs> feminine products, disposable wipes, okay. those things catch on that, all those rough edges. Yeah. It just grabs on. It's like, you know, when you have rough hands, you rub it on your dress and it freight, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's what it does. So those things will hit that dam, build, 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 you know, yeah. and it just won't go for a long time. And then maybe head pressure will push it. Yeah. But that's getting worse. Every day when the joint starts sinking, it just keeps sinking. And, and eventually it'll be like that. Yeah. Like you won't, you won't have any room to go through. It'll be, and then you'll be. You're out of it. You're in bad shape right now. Don't get me wrong. It's in real bad shape. And I, you know, I recommend that you fix it, obviously, because you can see what's going on with it. Yeah. So, um, okay. But um, you can call him. We can set up a time. I can come back at whenever, 3 30, 4 o'clock. We can camera it again. I can show him. You know. Um, I'll, I'll send this to him. I think it's good. I. It's pretty straightforward, I guess. Yeah. What? But like, so what are, 
what would you do then if it this is your house and well you got to dig it up and dig all it. so would you do just from just outside stuff yeah well i mean that's what we do we give options to do whatever you want okay you know we can say hey you can redo this in here and um you know it's x amount of dollars to go outside you know you've got a few choice you really don't have too many choices outside yeah i mean when the pipes are orangeburg all you can do is dig it up and especially when you have dips in the line so if you if you you can't shoot a liner but you can um you really got to dig it up so you'd have to dig from point a to point b you know where it is to your house then if you wanted you know that would a that would alleviate, you know, a lot of this problem in here. You could come in here, jet these lines, pull all this stuff out, and you're probably in good shape. You won't have these issues if that's out there Done. flowing. Yeah, right. You won't have backup issues. You won't have floor drain issues. It'll go, and down the road you go. Yeah. So okay. it's, you know, that's what you get with old houses. Yeah. I mean, I don't... That's all I can tell you. Yeah. People, why me? Why? I, we go uh, through this every day. Yeah. And it's, and like I said, we've, I've seen new houses. So I, I'll um, write up some options. Um, okay. I can come back and talk to him. I mean, this is a big decision. I mean, it's, it's a lot of money. Yeah. You know, I mean, when you're digging out in the road and the right of way and, yeah, ends up being kind of costly so it can be i mean i've seen this stuff you know twenty five thousand dollars yours is not going to be that obviously but it, it could be fifteen thousand eighteen thousand dollars just telling you yeah well it's good to know <laughs> not specifically really. but here's the thing what we're up against like what are your choices like you have to you got to do something. i have to do something you really do I mean, I'm not, you know, people say, well, if it was your house, we, well, first of all, this is what I do for a living, so I would do it. Yeah. And second of all, if it wasn't, I would do it. Because yeah. there's nothing worse than yeah. sewer backing up. And when he cables it, he's not doing anything. He's just, yeah. he's not fixing the problem. He's That's... not even getting close to the problem out there. Well, right. he might. How long is the, some I of them are know. 50 footers, 75s. But I was out 86 feet. I came back probably... So you're right at about 75-ish. He, I don't know, he might get to it and loosen it up and send it on its way and, you know, give you some time. Yeah. But this is not auto-correcting. <laughs> right. Know, it's not self-fixing, whatever you want to call it. But, I mean, that's just, you get all this buildup back up from, you know. So, like, if it were to... It'd probably be silly, but I'm just asking, like, what if you we find the spot where that is the lip right there and just dig down to that spot and fix that section? Well, and, that, and that's... Kind of a Band-Aid. Band-Aid. It really is. I mean, yeah, people do that. Yeah. People say, yo, I just want to fix this spot. But you saw as you come back, there's other dips in the line. Right. That could be the worst, but you hate to say... Oh, you're all take care of you. You spend all, you know, this money to do this, and it doesn't fix the problem. Yeah. And you go, oh, we need to dig up all the way to the house. You know. Yeah. The other thing, um, you know, on a dig like this, it's got a 20-year warranty. I mean, we own it for 20 years. If anything ever goes wrong, it's mm -hmm. ours. Yeah. Which is good. A spot dig is five-year warranty. Know. Yeah. So you really... I mean, rather than you could start back a little bit, save some, you know, but you're really you know, you're better off going all the way and just starting over and coming back and being done all the way. But that's what I, I write up. Hey, a different quote, yeah. Yeah, if you want to just try to do this. Yeah. And I don't think it'll fix it because I think you've got too many issues and roots back further that are going to be just non-stop problems. Mm -hmm. You're just throwing. But here's the thing. I mean, you know, I don't know your financial situation, but, you know, we work with finance companies. If you got credit, you know, yeah. and over P 
people do it. I mean, there's one 24 month no interest, which the payment would be, you know, sky high. Right. You know, six, eight hundred bucks. Yeah. But there's others that, you know, five nine nine, six nine nine for five years, ten years. You know, it's yeah. a couple hundred bucks a month. Yeah. I mean, it's better than coming up with 15, whatever right. the number is. Yeah. You know, totally. And people like, okay, well, we'll do, because some people don't have options. Like, you're on the brink of not having an option, and it's going to get worse, and you're going to have backup. That's where you're at. But I've gone to lines that are destroyed, and it, it doesn't go. Like, yeah. my camera stops because the pipe it's literally totally. disintegrated, and it's, you know, $20,000. Yeah. Okay. But, you know, so I will... I'm the bearer of bad news, and I'm sorry, but we we do all this stuff in house. We come and fix it. We do everything start to finish. Okay. You know? Yeah. And I mean, that'd be like tearing up the concrete and fixing the concrete and all of that. Yeah, we just cut a path through there and okay. you know, we just report it. I mean, we don't tear up the whole driveway. Right. And that stuff. That's yeah. I mean, obviously, all those things play into the cost. Right. Yeah. So okay. the fact that, you know, um, the Orangeburg pipe, um, like I said, that stuff is pretty much, you can burst it, um, and I could probably, you know, put an option to do that, but you'd have to, you know, make sure that, you know, as you pull through there, it just basically, you dig a spot at the house and you dig one in the road, mm -hmm. and you... Thread something through. You put a cable through there and put a machine down, and as you pull it, you hook a, it's like a bullet, and it literally just splits the pipe and slips a new one in there. Oh, wow. So, the only bad thing is, and the bellies weren't that bad, and it probably would be fine. Yeah. So, that's an, an option, option, you know, but you got to dig down and fix where it's sagged. Yeah. And then... You've got, to, and it'll eliminate all the roots. You know, you won't have root problems. And root problems, once they're in, they're in. Right. They don't go away. The only way is if you line it or you dig them up. Yeah. People, oh, we use root kill. No. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't work. Okay. I'm, I'm telling you, it doesn't work. So, um, what was I doing? <laughs> so, yeah, it'll be, there's a few different options. But the one is you got to dig out in the road regardless to fix where where the pipe is separated mm -hmm. so I don't know why that won't go back in there I don't know if that just sits there it doesn't look like it's even threaded in there I don't it's not I can have him look at it well no it, there's no thread so it I think it just sits, sits there, there. To, I don't know why just sit there <laughs> All right. Yeah, but anyway, not that anybody's really gonna fun stuff get get messing with it. But yeah. So what do you think? Um, what are your thoughts? I mean, you know, obviously, do oh, you say, "Oh, forget this. I don't want to deal with it," and go away? <laughs> um, I think that. I'd want to see the quotes, what it would, like that last thing you were saying that the burst. Yeah. yeah that sounds awesome. Well, it is. It does save money because you're not tearing stuff up. Yeah. Totally yeah. all the way through. Yeah. But that, you do have to dig in two spots and still it's, you know, but I'll, I'll, I mean, I would lean toward that option. We have, um, financially, I mean, that sucks, but I'm not too worried about it as well. No, as, and I mean, but, and that's what I say. I'm not. Yeah. People. Here's the thing. Say you have a bunch of money in the bank. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Say you have fifty thousand in the bank. Right. Finance it and use their money for two years and just pay the payment. It's right. Interest free. Yeah. I don't know. Right. You know whether it's, you know, I mean it's more, but you just oh, automatic withdrawal and you just. Keep way your money in, in the bank. And life, yeah, yeah. People do different things. They yeah. decide, you know, and so. But there's, like I said, normally we have four or five different options, um, you know, depending. But your real problem is out in the road, and the line underneath, you know. Yeah. 
you know, if you really wanted to get froggy and fix all the stuff. I, me personally, I think if you fix the outside, the inside, we would come in here at the same time, send a high pressure jetter yeah. from the outside, pull everything out, yeah. push all this down right. and pull it out and it will scour. I mean, it'll really clean the line and, you know. That's what we would probably. You know, I mean, that's. Yeah. You know, it just, it's not a, it's not a new pipe. Yeah. But it's right. It really does get That's a lot of that crap out. I mean, this stuff. I mean, you know. Yeah. Do you spend money, you know, redoing that? And, yeah. You know, so we can shoot liners back up underneath the house. We can. There's a lot of different. You know, like the piece where I first started is clay. It looks like it's fine. Yeah. I mean. Right. It does. Yeah. There's no roots. It's got fall. It's right when it drops off. That's probably where. So you would so like you would measure to, out there, try to find out where that spot well, is. I know where it is right now. Okay, I already measured it. Is it like the sidewalk or? It's just right in the roadway, but it's in the park, like where he had his truck. I had to have him back his okay. truck up. Okay. Okay. So, you know, but you're still got to get a permit to go in the road. Doesn't yeah. matter if you're going in two feet or twenty feet. Yeah. But going twenty feet costs more money. Okay. So. But we would have to dig a spot to be able to pull our burster back, right. you know, one way or another. we got to pull through there. So, again, I mean, it's, we call it a that trenchless sounds, option. Yeah, trenchless option. You I know, like that. Yeah. I mean, it's less expensive, but it's still expensive. That's what I'm saying. Because okay. you're not digging up your concrete and all yeah. these other things. And, yeah. Um, so. Yeah. That would... Yeah, I mean it's yeah. a good it's a good option. Um, we do liners, but Orangeburg you can't line. So a liner is when people have a lot of roots, but they mm -hmm. don't have bellies. We shoot a, an epoxy liner inside of it, and it's four mil thick, and it's like a sleeve, and it's it's beautiful. It's yeah. like PVC, and it's slick, and it just goes. Yeah. This pipe that we slip in there is called HDPE. It's like that thick, like you. Really. Oh, it's, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's super thick, and it's one pipe, and then we connect them, and... Awesome. Know, yeah, it's... You're not going to have issues. You think... So that's, like, an option? Like, that's probably what you would do. Yeah, because you didn't have any super bellies. Yeah, okay. Your biggest one is out there mm -hmm. where we would have to lift that up and make... You know, we dig up... You know, we got to dig up probably 10 feet, you know, to get our machine, to get it all set in the road and all that and then we need to dig one right by the house yeah where it comes out of the house so we slip it through there so go into your driveway underneath the, where yeah. all those trees are yeah. and yeah. all that yeah at the house we put in two clean outs one is to go out to the street if something happens you know kids throw toys something mm -hmm. you know whatever and the other one goes into the house so we wouldn't be coming in here to do this yeah if there's an issue underneath your husband could go from out there come inside and just you know out there and just yeah go snake it from here or he could you know he could go both sides okay. if he wanted but okay anyway all right yeah we'll a lot get of those. information a lot of options like you just woke up this morning going oh it's gonna be a great day yeah they're just gonna yeah, come root sure it that. and it'll be 